What's her name? <laughs> Jinxie. <laughs> Mama couldn't stay awake. She's going home. And then they're like, she's a narcolept. I said, a who? <laughs> I thought they were saying like narcotics. And yeah. then like mid-season I said, I go back in the room, the producer looks and Alyssa, what do you think? She's winning. Lip syncing for your life is the blood that runs through RuPaul's Drag Race's veins. You wind up in the bottom two, your only chance of survival is to lay it all out there on the main stage. But despite how commonplace lip syncs are, very few queens are masters of the art, and even fewer turn out truly iconic performances. In this episode of The Kiki, hosts Kevin O'Keefe and Matthew Rodriguez talk with one of Drag Race's lip syncing experts, season five and All Stars 2 superstar Alyssa Edwards, about what makes for a gag worthy lip sync. Welcome to the Kiki, where it's not personal, it's drag. I'm Kevin O'Keefe. And I'm Matthew Rodriguez, and today we're going to be talking about lip syncs and how to win them. Do you know how to win a lip sync? You know what? I don't, but I feel like I know someone who does. Justin Johnson, AKA Alyssa Edwards. Welcome, Justin. Thank you guys for having me. I feel a little out of place. You know, I didn't get the romper. Didn't I, get the romper memo. I didn't get the romper email or memo. I, I'm a little, I'm a little upset because I have quite a few. <laughs> I have quite a few. So you're a romper. In, so you're a romper enthusiast. Uh, you saw Beyond Bleak Dance Company yeah, and yeah. Dancing Queen. There's a lot of romperie going on in my life. Well, just in between, obviously, RuPaul's Drag Race, your career as a drag queen, and now Dancing Queen on Netflix, you have lip synced in all sorts of venues and ways across the board. So we oh, have a few questions okay. for you on exactly how to make a great lip sync. Go ahead and, and fire at it. Here we go. So what do you think are like the core things you need for a great lip sync? Uh, passion. Okay. A performance. Uh, a, a prepared... Um, idea, a, a picture in your head of what you want, because before I was lip syncing on stages and 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 uh, charades and shindigs and barbecues, I was doing it in the shower. Oh gosh, I'm about to show my age. Debbie Gibson, Electric Youth. Uh -huh. <laughs> and I would, I would listen to these songs and I would feel this like magnetic sense of electricity run through me. And that was kind of what it was about, because in my head, I'm not lip syncing. I'm, right. I'm live, honey. <laughs> I am live. I am belting out like right. Whitney and Mariah and and Beyonce, so I think it's all about finding that driving force that for me, and that's the passion, mm. that performance of it, being on stage and engaging an audience. Yeah. What's the biggest difference for you between like lip syncing at the barbecues and at the yeah. shindigs versus Drag Race, then now to Dancing Queen? Well, the barbecues are free. Okay. <laughs> right. Okay. And then, so in Drag Race, you want to stay in the competition or get brought back, in my case. Yeah, yeah. And now Dancing Queen, I am the Beyonce. <laughs> yes, yes. Talk about the evolution, the glow up. Yes. You know, that's what that From is. From Destiny's Child to Beyonce. And there, yeah. that, there you go. <laughs> I don't think there's a difference necessarily as far as like location or setting or mm -hmm. avenue. It's more about like what the song is, what the costume is, what kind of day you're having, what you're feeling. It's an art. You know, it's mm. it's performance art. Yeah, no, totally. At its greatest, I love it. So you don't gotta worry about hit notes and all that. You know, it's very that Britney Spears kind of fantasy. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Who doesn't want to live the, the Britney fantasy? The mic is off, <laughs> and she's up there trolling for the gods, <laughs> and it's a sold out arena. Can we go over some of your lip syncs to sort of ask some questions about them? Okay, let's do it. Let's let's make it a game. Ready? Okay. So like one word you need to describe it. Sure. Yeah. Okay. okay. Here we go. Okay. So we'll Ready? go through them. All right. So uh, versus Roxy Andrews with my hair. Oh, this is a good one because I gotta say more than one word. <laughs> <laughs> um, the wig reveal was so awesome. At that particular moment, I was not excelling uh, in the challenges. I made a comment, which I stand by. I was ready to show RuPaul that I really want to be here and I want to fight for it. And I, I, I'm, I'm prepared to do this lip sync battle because that's what got me here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And so that was a very intense moment that night. And then Roxy revealed um, family struggles. Oh, yeah, the, yeah. yeah. And then it was like, I felt like, okay, maybe I need to go home. Mm. You know, it's like she was more deserving in the challenges. When you're dancing, you already have ideas for choreography. Did you see out of the corner of your eye what Roxy had done and you were like, oh, I need to switch things up and go even harder? Let me tell you something about me. I am my biggest fan. If you did not know, <laughs> it's just me and the cameras and all of you, uh, no. No. Chase the dream, not the competition. Mm. While, while RuPaul's right there, not over here. I, I had to do my thing, you know. It wasn't until afterwards I was like, That's not the hair. Did that bitch just do a <laughs> 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 
<laughs> what kind of Houdini shit is going on today? <laughs> it's a good lip sync, huh? Oh, yeah. I, 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 you know what? Here's my thing about Drag Race. I love that it's more than just this uh, a series about flamboyant men gallivanting around in these uh, platform pumps and wigs and lashes and long nails. It's truly the stories of courageous souls, mm. okay? The lip sync is that moment where everything that might have happened in your life just all comes out. It's all cards on deck. Well, in relation to that, obviously a couple episodes later you lip synced against Coco Montrese, who you had a pretty significant rivalry with. Don't don't skip point. Ivy. Oh, true, that's true. You, you know, ain't nothing going on by the rest. Ain't nothing going on by the rest. Here's the thing, that will be my legacy. You know, where in hindsight, a lot of girls were like, I don't want to be in the bottom, I'm doing this. <laughs> That's my bookings. I need to get in the bottom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you need like, to show people that you could put what? on a show. Yeah. A businesswoman. Yeah. Yes. Do y'all know something funny too? I thought I was winning all the challenges. <laughs> I thought I legitimately won all the challenges. I you was left like, the perfume set you baby, in. I told him, I said, y'all, I won this. The comedy, the whip my hair, I said, girl, I think I was so funny, bitch. Rick Paul was laughing at me. <laughs> Katy Perry, I had the wig. <laughs> you had the blue wig. I, girl, <laughs> this is a setup. So when they were saying, when the show would be like, Alyssa, you fell short. I was so confused. I was chunked. <laughs> the Coco. So that had a lot of emotion in it, I'm sure. And you know what I love about that? When it's over, you see us look at each other like a high five kind of almost. Yeah. A, a long distance high five. And then at the end when they, you know, say Alyssa Sashay way, we walk over and we embrace. That's what it's about. Yeah. Well, Through all the bullshit, all yeah. the cussing and the $35 shake and go wigs and <laughs> everything else. You, uh, my granny is my truly my biggest fan as she mm -hmm. watches the show and mm -hmm. she says, you know, Justin, I saw you on that TV show when you were dressed up like a woman. You should tell me on a voicemail, I got it, I have it saved. You're almost as pretty as RuPaul. It's close. <laughs> It's close. It's close. You're a lovely alternate. She didn't say that though. She said it's close. And I want you to know it's unbecoming if you're on there saying curse words. I want you to be very ladylike. And she said, Justin, I like that Coco Montrese. And she was good. I told all the queens in the bus, oh gosh, I can't believe I'm saying this. I said, I'm giving y'all all fair warning. If we get track number 20, Cold Hearted Snake, and I'm in the bottom, oh, y'all bitches better pack y'all's <laughs> Pack y'all's wigs up. Because I promise y'all, I've been doing this song for years. It's a wrap. And Coco said, girl, I believe it. <laughs> and then she sent my ass to the house. <laughs> So the next time you lip synced on Drag Race was obviously All Stars when you came back and it was against Detox, Taylor Dane's Tell It To My Heart. Another one. That's a yeah. classic. Yeah. Another, an, another one, Taylor Dane, naked without you, Tell It To My Heart. Oh, I was ready. Well, and you weren't in the bottom that time. That was because you had won the challenge. That's it. Yeah. Uh -huh. You had won uh -huh. that challenge. Yeah. I was lip syncing for my legacy, honey. Yeah. But you know, every time I go up there and lip sync, it's for my life, legacy, love, mm -hmm. and all and the for above. the And for the dollar, to yeah, let people know. $10,000. <laughs> well, that was a bonus. That was a <laughs> that was a tip. I, there's something for me that's so fulfilling to be on that stage and RuPaul like, uh, this is this is it. Let me act it out. Ready? Here's RuPaul. Two top all stars. <laughs> she, she has this like shoulder fantasy. Where she sits like, really straight, and she knew. I wasn't even thinking about the money. Maybe a little bit of money. It was cute. But was part of it? it was what, cute. Would, would you say part of it too was like after being in the bottom three times and then coming back and being in the top, like wanting to make RuPaul proud? Yeah, it's like going on all stars. You already kind of had that stamp. Your mother approved. <laughs> and oh, I just love it. Oh my gosh, I love the feeling. I was asked in an interview, "Would you do it again?" Absolutely. Oh yeah. So your final lip sync on Drag Race, of course. The one. Is the, the one. one. It's the one. I mean, that's, that was the win for me. Yeah, it's it's my favorite episode of Drag Race ever. It's this amazing moment. You both win. Yeah. It, was there in some way it felt better for both of you to win as opposed to just for one of you to win in that moment? Like there was like a yeah, because I think victory. we both got the satisfaction of winning. I didn't look at it as oh we have to share. I didn't, I wasn't. You know what I mean? Yeah. You win. You win. Right. For All Stars, I had told myself right before I went in. This time around, I'm gonna worry less. I'm gonna giggle more and I'm gonna be gay as fuck. And then there I am rolling around in that wig. You became and the number one meme from All Stars yeah, totally, yeah. I had fun. And that's how, and that's how you fun. won also. Yeah. And win, lose, or draw, I'm doing the damn thing, honey. And you got all the way to your own show? All the way over here. Talking about the Dancing Queen lip syncs, I wanted yes. to ask specifically about the Wrecking Ball one. Cause that's Ooh. like so intense on you your You already face. know my love for Miley. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, I went on tour with her and they said one song, one song, one song. You you have to have. I said wrecking ball. That was that was that was the thing that got me. Yeah. 
because it was like I'm washing off my makeup but I'm reminiscing on my family and my childhood and it's just it's so perfect and just like on a technical level like you're right up on your lips in that entire yeah. shot so it's yeah. like every single word has yeah. to be yeah. flawless and you know honestly when we were filming it I was getting emotional uh -huh. so I don't think I lip synced all the words sometimes I get so caught up in the moment that you start to perform rather than remembering to lip sync, you know? Right. Netflix was very um, open to this project being a docu-style rather than a produced reality. Mm. Those moments make it that uh, heartfelt and strong and powerful and I've gotten so many emails and messages and that are like, thank you, thank you for sharing, thank you for inspiring, thank you for being courageous. So for me, that's really the win. If nothing ever ever happens with any of this it all ends tomorrow i will be forever proud to say it happened all right before we let you go can we just get your some of your favorite lip sync moments that weren't your own that stuff that you saw latrice uh, royale dita ritz yes okay. uh, uh, shangela uh shangela has so many that i just she's another one she gets on stage she goes for it yeah she goes for it, Raven and Jujubee. I got emotional on that one. I do want to ask, uh, season nine in particular, the finale was the Sasha Velour. Oh gosh, moment. stop it, another one. Yeah. Genius, creative, smart, innovative. Yeah. Did y'all like the series? Yes. yes. What did you really think? Tell me, come on, don't just say yes. I said already. Tell it's, me, it's, what did you, did you think? I I thought I knew Aly who Alyssa Edwards was. We and I both agree that we like the Justin stuff more than the, even you know, like the Alyssa stuff. Like we like getting to know, know Justin. Because we know yeah. Alyssa, but we didn't know Justin. When you have dinner with your three sisters yes. and you just know that it's like a family that's had an impasse, but that. you have to like love each other no yeah, matter what. That was, a, that was a really, really like tough, like, oh, this is so real. Like this well, is so temporary, yeah. like this is, Sensitive, like Netflix was very, very caring to stay in the corner. Mm -hmm. And they just pushed her court. They said, y'all just be a family. Well, Justin, thank you so much for joining us thank today. You. This, this was, was a lot. This was actually a, a really, really lot of fun. Thank you. I'm glad you had fun. I had a great time. You know, sometimes yeah. you come on these things and you're like, am I going to be put on the spot? And then I start turning into this so social awkward like being. And I'm like, oh my gosh, what if I say something that's wrong? What if it's turned into rigor morris and <laughs> all over again? And you know what? Uh, it's better just to be unapologetically yourself. Yes. But thank you. Thank you guys so very much. This was a cute little Kiki. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, Thank the name you. of our show is the Kiki. Yeah, no! Yeah. Yes, you're that's the name the of the show right you're now. on. Yeah. Well, my name is Alyssa Edwards, <laughs> and this has been a Kiki. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure to like and subscribe down below. Thanks, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.